Yeah. What's up, yo? Major Plager here with another GTA 5 video for y'all. So without further ado, let's dive into this slew. And today I'm making my suggested red hood. Someone's like, hey man, can you try to make an Arkham red hood for me? So you're going to want to go into leather jackets and throw on fitted leather jacket. And then go to sweaters and throw on a red turtleneck. Alright. Go into pants. Team pants. Charcoal. Charcoal combat. As they actually got like a utility belt on them, which looked fucking awesome. Swag. Now, um, you're gonna want to make your way down to the mask shop if you don't already own this mask. I believe it's in the sports section of masks. And it's just the red, uh, hockey mask. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to get the white eyes and everything underneath. Now you're gonna want to go show armor and put standard so that it's black to match the jacket. Alright. And then you are also going to want to go style accessories and put on some black leather gloves if you haven't purchased them yet from the store. Alright guys. Now you can either use a fitted leather jacket, okay? Black fitted leather jacket is better for the outfit. As you can actually conceal a um, parachute underneath of it without anyone seeing it. So it's pretty fucking dope. You guys can even give him one of the worn down ones. Um, the previous uh, Red Hood has this jacket here, but in brown. So I would highly suggest not choosing this one if you want them to look a little different. Although this biker jacket is fucking dope. Looks like a ball main jacket with the shoulders. I was questioning it for a minute. But then I was like, nah, fuck it. I'll just go fitted leather. with the black fitted leather jacket. There's one fitted leather jacket and the black leather jacket. One's in normal leather jackets and one's in biker jackets. So it's up to you. If you want to conceal your parachute, go with the black fitted um, in uh, leather jackets. It's not gonna be in biker jackets, all right? Now, as you guys can see, I have made my way over to Ammunition. You're going to want to purchase a parachute. Alright. Make it the black combat parachute. Now, if you bought the black fitted leather jacket and just leather jackets, um, you will be able to conceal your parachute from the front with your body armor and no one will be able to tell that you're even wearing the thing all right um, which I'm gonna showcase in my uh, new Knight Rider video um, the old ones a little shitty uh, this one I, I know a lot more shit about the car now um, a lot more hidden features and stuff like that so go ahead purchase your parachute go style like a uh, parachute and throw that bitch on I was going to throw the red one on to match the mask and the sweater, but um, I went with the black as Red Hood. Usually it's just his head that's red. Or his hood and his mask, you know what I mean? It's too bad I couldn't get a fucking hood up on this, but I promise I, I'm always working on bettering my outfits, guys. Like, I'm like the outfit guru that's that's what I'm trying to be known for on here you know 
Um, I highly doubt that there's a, a, a lot of people out there that can fuck with my shit. Especially when it comes down to these outfits. Especially superhero outfits. Now, go ahead and save this as an outfit so that you permanently have the parachute and the mask and gloves and vest and everything like that. You will never have to purchase a parachute again, guys. Never again. This is the last parachute you will be buying ever in GTA. If y'all are making this suit right here. Alright. So go ahead. Oh, I can't believe I'm sacrificing Spidey right now for you guys. That's how much I love you guys. I just overwrote Spidey. Now make your way over to the barber shop. So that you can apply these contacts and face Let's paint. See what, you like. what you're going to want to do guys is choose the Caesar hairstyle. Color 22. And then you're going to want to put on the zombie contacts. Alright. Followed by the skull in scarlet face Thanks paint. And make sure by. your opacity is turned to 100%. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get the beanie over it or you can choose just to have the hair as either one looks fucking fine the hair actually makes it look a lot smoother at the back but this outfit is swagadelic um this is actually it was made for uh one of my followers one of my subscribers but I'm also making it for my boy, uh, Jason Todd. Yeah, Jason Todd. Red Hood. Yeah, exactly. So, man, look at those white eyes every time he blinks with, with the black around it. And see, with the Skull and Scarlet face paint, um, it actually paints your face red so that those dots you're not seeing skin through. Dab. <laughs> and a bong tuck. Now, you guys are going to need a car to get the beanie on, if you guys want the beanie. Or you guys can go ahead and put on uh, a red baseball cap, one of the new ones that makes uh, one of the new hoodies go up. So you can actually put a red hood up over it, which I'll show you guys at the end, um, but it looks a lot better like this because then he'd have a brim of a hat sticking out so you're gonna want to make sure that your outfit is highlighted alright guys Let's all remain calm. the one that you saved you fucker. now you're just gonna want to use my mask and hat glitch from mask hat and glasses after 1.38 Okay. So basically all you do is you go down to the mask shop and you buy the hat that you want, you know, the red beanie, and then um, you put it on and then you press circle circle and you go to masks and you select the mask that you want, you press X, you apply it and then you press square to save edit outfits right away without even leaving the mask section, okay? Um, and then when you come up here, see it looks dope even without the beanie. So go accessories, and then put on the beanie. Make sure your outfit is highlighted. Okay, go down to parachute, and as you get in, go down and select your outfit. And when you get out, you should have the beanie. Yeah, man. Beanie, man. So now I'm just going to make my way back over to the clothing store to go and save this shit now that it's got the beanie on it.
I'd better go. This must be costing me a fortune. This bitch has a fat ass. Yeah. What? This guy's got fucking the moves like Jagger. <laughs> but not for long. Yo, fucking the pool cue is the illest melee weapon by far, guys. Better than a machete. Better than fucking anything I've seen yet. Motherfucker, did you just say black mask? That's my arch nemesis, you fucking prick. Oh, those are some nice kicks. <laughs> well, seeing as how I called him a prick, those are some nice creps, bruv. Mad love for my UK cats. Yeah. Oh shit. Y'all are too late. Damn. Another DOA. Y'all are too late, man. He's fucking done for, guys. Now, so are all of you. Yeah, that matches the swag. Nice. I really, really need a vacation. Holy shit. There we go. No. MG. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's much more hoodish. Red Hood is about to get hood on y'all. So guys, that's pretty much it for the outfit glitch. Um, I've been stretching them out lately and making them longer than they have to be. But like, yo, real shit. Like I said, no one's fucking with my outfits. And uh, this is the revised Red Hood Arkham Knight for my boy, Jason Todd. And for my uh, subscriber and... Uh, commentee that suggested I make this for him so you know what brother you got all the permission in the world to watch this and follow every step and make it all right so feel free to go ahead and make yourself this Arkham version of Red Hood. I'm speaking specifically to Jason Todd and uh, my homeboy there in the comments. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you a fat shout out in the comments below uh, for your suggestion. And as I said, guys, if you have any outfits that you want to see made, any superheroes. Any villains, any Marvel, DC characters, TV characters, um, even movie characters that aren't um, Marvel or DC, but like, you know, people like 
uh, the shadow and uh, dark man and like shit like that um, those two I'm actually gonna be making in a series because they sort of remind me of each other uh, Liam Neeson and Alec Baldwin I believe um, if y'all ain't seen the shadow um, or dark man I highly suggest you guys go watch those movies um, they're throwbacks definitely they're a little old but man they are fucking ill and like I said, I am a uh, king of the outfit sauce spill. Um, and yeah, I'll be dripping sauce on you fools. Now, the next video in this DC installment will be Nightwing. Alright, just as dope as this outfit. Alright, I'm not going to call it better. Well, it actually... Mm, I don't know man, it's fucking tied. It's tied for me. I, I don't know what to say. You guys be the judges, alright? Because I got three DC outfits for you guys today. So it's Red Hood first, and it's Nightwing second, and it's uh, Deathstroke third. Alright? Now... <clears throat> Y'all are gonna have to excuse me for the video being so long again. Like I said, I'm just uh, keeping it real with y'all and uh, showing you guys the full potential. Well, not really, because I haven't showed you guys the permanent parachute aspect, but um, like I said earlier, any Batman character should be able to fly, especially if you're looking this fly. Uh, yeah. So, like, if you jump off a building, bro, you never have to buy a parachute again. I just blow myself up. Bro. Let's get wasted. <laughs> but yeah, yo, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. And like I said, I will see you in the next outfit glitch. And I am up out of this bitch. <laughs> Gotta change my action first so I can hit a dab for y'all. Oh, where is it at? Dab, 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 dab. There it is. Alright. Amway!